thank you for your peace. Hallelujah. You know, God is so good. I want us to come to a conclusion in the Lord. You know, um, the, the Bible talks a lot about, I consider this, right? I, uh, Abraham considered God faithful, even though his body and Sarah's body was as good as dead. Circumstances are never favorable. Uh, movers and shakers never wait for the circumstances to be all lined up and all the stars are lined up perfectly, right? Uh, uh, but we move on the word of God. It's amazing because I was thinking yesterday, uh, I just had this, you know, thought. I love it when God suddenly highlights something and you can try to share it with someone and it makes no sense whatsoever. But for you, it's like the greatest revelation on the universe because it shines a light on everything. And the Lord started uh, sharing with me. He said, I am the author of thought. And it just blew my mind because so many things that I've been thinking about, I realized I can trust him to give me thoughts I never had before. What separates a person from another is not um, their body type or their fashion sense or even how much money they have or how much education, how much support they have, but it's how they think. People with the worst circumstances, come on, with the worst uh, anything in their lives, no education. I mean, how many amazing men in our past of the United States were declared bad students come on or even autistic come on but the parents heard something about the Lord that was different from from the Lord about their child and I love that because it's how a person thinks that differentiates a person I just said a really big English word Whew. okay I'm Dutch for those of you that don't know uh, so it's it's quite a miracle to preach in English, right? And so, anyway, these are thoughts that God gives. Now, when God originates a thought in us, everything shifts. Uh, but it starts from the inside of us. If you become a person, by, by remember, next year, everything is going to be different. A lot of us are going to be millionaires. Why? Because we want to make a difference. A mil becoming a millionaire... A lot of our, our uh, business people in our, in our church, the Lord has given prophetic word. He's taken them to that next level. Come on. We can be part of that. Amen. Why? Because money answers all things. And there's things that need to have an answer. There's things on your heart. My husband does this all the time all over the world. He would say, if I pay for all your bills for a whole year, how many of you would pursue your call and purpose or come on the road with us and minister to the nations? 90% of people in the room will raise their hand. So it's not a lack of vision. Come on. It's not a lack of call, but it's a lack of provision. But what makes a person shift and change within one year is thoughts. And, and we can try to follow all these thought leaders some of them are ridiculous. Some of them just make you cuss more, which we don't need that. That's not a thought leader. That's a thought loser. Come on. You just lost. Come on. You just lost big time. But if we make God our thought leader and we stop looking at circumstances and what we were given, come on, in the natural, then he's able to shift our thoughts and we can become a completely different person. I want us to make that conclusion today. Now, every time the word of God comes to you, and I love this so much about the gearings. Don't you love the gearings? Trevor and Melanie, I brag about them at home all the time. I'm like, I want to just eat them up. They're so good. They're so awesome. Why? Why do I feel that way? Because whatever message they hear, they draw a conclusion out of it that they will apply. Now they came to our women's meeting and they tag team together on how to lead your little ones to the Lord, how to preach the gospel to them. And many, many in the room felt shamed, not because of who they are, but because of the difference between them and their lifestyle, because they applied everything even from nine years ago. That their daily lifestyle, come on, 
has so many of Pastor Tracy's messages embodied in their daily life so that their whole home life is made up of the Word of God. It's the, it's the wildest thing. No wonder. Come on. No wonder that they are thought leaders. Amen. So I want you to draw a conclusion that, that, that uh, circumstances are nothing. Come on. Feelings are nothing. It's God's word that changes your mind and gives you new conclusions that changes everything. Amen. Yesterday we were listening to Derek Prince. I just love Derek Prince. My, my, my dad, that was one of his favorite teachers. And my dad was an amazing Bible teacher. And when I hear Derek Prince preach, and he's with the Lord too, so they're probably hanging out. But um, when, when, when I hear him preach, I just see my dad, you know. It's so wonderful. But he was saying that, that God never in his word said, try to do this. He never did. He just said, do this. Come on, he said, be fruitful. He didn't say, try really hard to be fruitful, guys. No, be fruitful. He said, multiply. He said, subdue. Oh, but it's hard. No, subdue. We're not trying it. We're doing it. Have dominion. Now, these are called commanded blessings. And you know, nothing in the Bible that God commands is impossible for us to do. Why? Because every command is fulfilled by the love of God. And the Bible says this in Romans 5, 5. This is your memory scripture for the, for the week. Come on. Such hope in God's promises never disappoints us. Because God's love has been abundantly poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. So he has shed his love abroad in our hearts. And that love empowers you. Say, empowers me. The love of God empowers us to do what he commands us to do. Love our enemies. Come on. Step out into the deep. Why? Because he loves me. Come on. You can just answer every question with the love of God this week. Go ahead. Just do it. Have you ever tried it? I've tried it. I've tried it for like a whole month before. And it's amazing. It's really true. Any question anyone asks or your, your heart asks you, you can answer it with the love of God. It's an amazing thing. The love of God empowers you today to do what the Lord has commanded you to do. The assignment on your life is, is possible and will come to pass when you believe in his love. Come on. Lord, we thank you so much that you have shed your love abroad in our hearts and that every thought you give us is a commanded blessing. It's a commanded instruction to do. Those who love me obey my commandments, Jesus said. So, Lord, we thank you for your love shed abroad in our hearts today that empowers us to have brand new thoughts that make everything possible that is impossible with man. In Jesus' name, if you receive it, then say, I do receive it. <laughs>